If you want to improve your thinking and reasoning, have more brain power and be more concentrated, here are the crucial nutrients you need to know about. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. On this channel, we help professionals achieve peak brain performance. So if this is interested, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Let's talk about the crucial nutrients and compounds for thinking. Chances are your brain lacks a few of them, so it's important to add them to your diet or supplement them. Otherwise, your thinking can't really improve. Now, the first nutrient you need in your body is choline. Choline is a building block of cell membranes and one of the crucial nutrients for producing acetylcholine, an important neurotransmitter for learning, association, focus, cognition, and even memory. Now, choline used to be part of the B vitamins, but it is nowadays considered an independent nutrient that we absolutely need for optimal brain performance. Now, studies show that supplementing choline improves attention, it enhances memory, offers neuroprotection, but it is also important for removing cholesterol from your liver. You need between 425 milligrams of choline per day if you're a woman and 550 milligrams if you're a man. Now, you can spot choline deficiency by feeling anxious or restless, having fatty liver, suffering from brain fog, and having issues with memory and learning. On the other hand, too much choline can cause drop in blood pressure, fishy body odor, nausea, and even vomiting. The richest dietary sources of choline include beef liver, eggs, fresh cod, and salmon, but it is also found in broccoli, cauliflower, soybeans, and whole grains. Now, if you eat lots of eggs and meat, you probably don't need to supplement choline. Actually, you probably consume too much of choline already, which can lead to increased cancer risk, so be careful. But if you eat a mainly plant-based diet, what I recommend, you may not consume enough choline, so it would be smart supplementing it. Now, there are two popular choline types available on the market, citicholine and alpha-GPC. If you have any kind of cognitive issues, I recommend taking 250 to 300 milligrams of either of these two types per day. Now, below, you can find my top-rated brain supplements with choline. By the way, guys, what is your favorite compound for peak brain performance? Let me know in the comment section below. The next crucial compound for thinking and reasoning is phosphatidylserine. This is a naturally occurring phospholipid crucial for cognitive functioning, memory, and attention. Now, phosphatidylserine is a compound similar to dietary fat found in human neural tissue. But the problem with PS is that its levels naturally decline with aging. So if you care about your brain performance, and I assume you do, it may be smart supplementing it. Now you can find it in soy lecithin and beef, but to ensure you get a proper amount daily, it is better to supplement it. The main benefits of supplementing phosphatidylserine are improved attention and ADHD, reduced stress, especially when combined with omega-3 fatty acids, reduced cognitive decline, and improved memory and learning. As a matter of fact, multiple clinical trials showed that supplementing phosphatidylserine is crucial for improved thinking and peak brain performance. Now, the optimal daily dosage is 300 milligrams, taken in three dosages of 100 milligrams. Now, do take it with some fat since it is fat soluble. Below, you can find my favorite supplement with phosphatidylserine. Now, there are a couple of other nutrients you probably never heard of, but before we cover them, let's talk about this super important omega-3. Omega-3 contains two important fatty acids, EPA and DHA, that can provide various benefits for your brain. Mainly, omega-3 can reduce the risk of ADHD, uh, they can prevent or slow down the development of Alzheimer's, they may reduce depression and offer other anti-inflammatory benefits by counterbalancing omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-3 deficiency includes poor memory, fatigue, mood swings, and even depression, so if you have any of those mentioned issues, you may need to increase your omega-3 intake. If you care about your thinking, your brain power and brain health, you should consider getting enough omega-3. But there is a catch. The most popular way of getting omega-3 is obviously through eating fish. But where does fish get omega-3? Yes, from algae. Now, since eating fish is far from optimal if you care about your brain health, you know, because of huge pollution, microplastics, etc., the best way to get enough omega-3 is by supplementing it. Personally, I recommend going straight to the source, which are algae. And below you can find my top 
omega-3 supplement. By the way, if you're unsure about your omega-3 and omega-6 ratio, take a simple and affordable test, which will also tell you the optimal daily dosage for your needs. And you can find more info below if you're interested. The next important nutrient is uridine monophosphate, which is a nucleotide base and a building block of DNA and RNA that is, interesting enough, found in beer and breast milk. Now, I assume you are aware of the bear side effects and probably not a big fan of breast milk, so you should probably find a better source of uridine monophosphate. Now, uridine monophosphate is a very important compound for thinking because it aids synaptic function, it increases dopamine output, and acts as a substrate from which choline, which I mentioned before, is synthesized. Now, if you don't know, high dopamine levels are associated with better focus and thinking, high energy levels, and lots of motivation. But most importantly, supplementing uridine monophosphate improves cognition and learning and also may support people with Alzheimer's. Now, what's very interesting is that studies show that for the best results, you should combine it with omega-3 and choline, both compounds on our list. The optimal daily intake is 500 to 1000 milligrams, but generally, most supplements contain a bit lower dosage. Below, you can find my top-rated uridine monophosphate supplement. By the way, do you want to know how well does your brain perform? Go for a free assessment, link in the description below, and get your brain performance score. And finally, we have lion's mane mushroom, a mushroom that boosts mental functioning. Now, this compound is very interesting in many ways. First, it contains two very strong compounds called hericinons and arenacins, which are presumably responsible for some of the effects of this mushroom. Second, it promotes neurogenesis, so the regrowth of neurons, which has been proven in mice studies. Third, it boosts cognition, especially if you suffer from dementia. And fourth, it also offers neuroprotection. Now, if one compound provides so many benefits, there must be some side effects, right? Well, not really. It very, very rarely happens that people have an itchy skin due to the increase of nerve growth factor, but that's about it. So, about 500 milligrams to up to 3 grams of a full spectrum extract is an optimal daily intake of lion's mane mushroom for peak brain performance and improved thinking. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I prefer to take it in capsule form. And below, you can find my favorite supplement with lion's mane mushroom. Now, just before you lose your focus and watch another video, by the way, this probably means you should take some of the compounds we just talked about, there is one final thing I want to share with you. If none of the mentioned nutrients help you, then I suggest you watch this video up here in which I share scientifically proven ways to boost your brain performance with hacks and different tricks. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.